What's up guys, Hayden here, and bringing you another tutorial, and this tutorial will be on uh, how to use Nitro Blast uh, 1.0, right? I'm pretty sure it's, uh, yeah, 1.0. So, <clears throat> get uh, two materials that you would like. Um, I'm probably not going to put these in the description, so yeah, sorry about that, but First off, you want to put your logo or your mo text right here. Okay, so with your logo, you just want to duplicate the extrude over here. So then you have two. Okay, and then you want to go plugins, Nitro Blast main, and then the quality. You can set the high um, pieces. I would usually set. Um, well, I guess. The smaller the, or the less amount of pieces you set, the bigger the pieces are going to be. But the more you set, the smaller they're going to be. So I like to stick around the 120 to the 180 range. So I'm probably just going to go with, uh, oh, maybe 156. So now you just click fracture. And it starts fracturing down here. So we'll just wait for that to finish. Okay. And then when that's done, you're going to notice this, these two materials, which you could just replace. But um, <clears throat> with two materials, you could either just use the same material or you can use like a lava or something. But if you're going to use like a lava or something to be inside of, well, to make it look like it's inside the logo, you always want to put the lava or whatever material you want to make it look like it's in the inside on the far left side so where the yellow is and then you always want to make it cubic and then check seamless like that and then I'm gonna put this replace the blue with my grungy looking material just cubic seamless like that okay and then now I'm just going to uh, now you want to go MoGraph fracture okay and then you want to go main pieces, dynamic, and then you have all of these pieces. Now, here's a quick way of putting them all in fracture. You just select 155 or how many ever pieces you set, and then you go to the zero piece, and then just drag it up to the fracture until you see the arrow pointing down, because that means it wants, well, not wants to, but it's putting it in the fracture. So now it's in the fracture. So now you see all of these pieces, or red and blue lines, green. So now you could just delete this since there's no pieces in it. And then with this, you just want to uh, go, uh, um, you want to click this, go MoGraph, Effector, and then Random. And then as you can see, it's all broken up. But it, let's say you want it to be closer together. All you got to do is... Uh, Go to Effector, or, yeah, Effector, and just turn Strength down. So, like, do that. Hold on. I'm going to delete this extrude right now. Just like that. Um, so, you just, like, the bigger, or the higher the strength, the more spread out it's going to be. But lower the strength, the closer the break is going to be. So, let's just put it about right, right there. And then... Yeah, so you can do this. So uh, that's how you do it. So hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, expect Jaden's Wednesday. So uh, see you guys later. Peace.